Did you know that most businesses can register for VAT? This video will help you understand whether you have to register or if you might need to in the future, as well as explaining why you might decide to register voluntarily. Now, some businesses have to register, and we'll talk about why in a bit. There are also some businesses that can't register for VAT, and this is mainly down to the types of things they sell or the service they provide. What do you sell? If you're only providing VAT-exempt supplies, you can't register for VAT. If you're in this group, you probably don't need to watch the rest of this video. But if you're a business that can register, you can choose to do so at any time while your turnover remains below a certain threshold. We'll talk about this threshold in a bit. You probably know that you pay VAT on most of the things you buy, like your clothes, household goods or fuel. If you're a business that's registered for VAT, you can claim back the VAT you've paid on things you've bought for your business. You also charge VAT on what you sell or the services you provide. Being VAT registered could help your business seem more trustworthy and some suppliers prefer to deal with VAT registered businesses. Remember though that being VAT registered will increase the price you charge to your customers. However, if they are VAT registered, your business customers will be able to claim back the VAT you charge them. VAT can be complicated, but don't panic. You may not need to register yet. This video should help you understand whether you have to register or if you might need to in the future, as well as explaining why you might decide to register voluntarily. So, why would you have to register? Basically, you have to register as soon as your turnover, or what you're earning, reaches a certain amount. This is called the VAT registration threshold. The amount usually changes at the start of each tax year. Brothers Ali and Tariq opened a scooter and motorbike showroom in their hometown after they inherited some money. As keen viewers of Speedway and Superbike races, they wanted to sell a range of the latest bikes but they also thought that in their busy town, scooters would be popular with commuters. Just buying in their initial stock was a huge outlay for the brothers. They also knew that only a few sales would take them to the VAT registration threshold, so they registered from the beginning. Most of your accounts will be based on a fixed period, like a tax year from April to March, or your accounting year. With the VAT registration threshold, each month you have to think about what you've earned in the previous 12 months. This means you're not using a fixed period like you do with your accounts. So as well as knowing what you earned in 2011, or in the tax year 2011 to 12, you need to be aware of what you're earning each month and how that affects your total income in the current 12-month period. So, there are two reasons for registering. Because you have to, or because you choose to. Okay, so how does someone register for VAT? It's pretty easy. All you need to do is fill in the registration form online. You'll need to be registered with HMRC Online Services first, though. Once HMRC has dealt with your application, you'll get a VAT registration certificate. This also gives you your business's VAT registration number. You'll have to put this number, along with other information, on all your invoices. It's very important that you keep this certificate in a safe place, as you may need to refer to it in future. Don't forget to let your customers know you're going to be VAT registered, so they're not surprised by your next bill. You'll need to start thinking about the effect VAT will have on your prices as soon as you reach the threshold, even if you haven't got your registration number yet. You can't say you're charging VAT without a VAT registration number. If you decide to register voluntarily, you have to account for VAT from the start date you put on your application. This means including VAT on your invoices. Remember, you may be able to claim back the VAT you've paid for goods or services you bought for your business before you registered, so keep all the invoices you received where you've been charged VAT. One final important point to remember is that you can't split up the different areas of a business to keep below the VAT registration threshold. So, if for example, 
You're a sole trader with a window cleaning business, but you also do gardening work. You can't treat them as two separate businesses as a way of staying below the registration threshold. In other words, you have to add together the turnover from each of your businesses to work out whether or not you must register for VAT. Most businesses can register for VAT. Some have to register because of the amount they earn and some can't because of the type of goods they sell or the services they provide. You might be better off if you do register for VAT, even if you don't have to. If you can, why not ask a tax advisor or accountant about it?